Welcome back to the World WordPress tutorial. Continuation using the Chef Blog generic website that I created in prior lessons. My name is Lewis Wood. I have 30 years of experience in development and my blindness came to a point years ago and now I use a screen reader and now I use WordPress. A development platform that I learned six as a developer and now I'm developing plugins and showing other people how to do it and how to navigate. So I hope you find this video helpful and everything. Do not forget to like and subscribe. That helps other blind podcasters find this. Because everybody's looking for material for how to do things and to create their own blog post. Now, in this tutorial, I will show you how to use an incognito browser in order to see your website, your post, from a user that's not logged in to your website's point of view. Okay, so you see what they see. Then I will take you down to the general settings, and we'll go through those, and we'll make a few changes, and I'll show you the effect it has on the website and what it shows it up and we'll continue the navigation and this time we'll go to pages and we're going to add an about me page and I will interrupt it because you don't need six minutes of me typing in it typing in the blog post so I will let the screen reader read it to you and then I'll end this video at that point because the next video I'll have to create a menu if we want to find that about me page list of five items visited link at new all right let's go we're going to go now to the post for for there and we're going to see the post listed links listed dialog links list view add new eight of 71 to move to items use the arrow mm -hmm. keys links list display sort links move mm -hmm. to link all c categories nine okay. of 71 at add new all posts unavailable seven of 71 edit dot canter there we are i'm on all Page posts now three headings and 77 filter okay now i'm going to go t for for the table table with seven columns and four rows column one Checkbox not check select Chef Harry's journal begins. Row two. Checkbox not check select Hello World. Row three. See, I got two posts. All right. 2021 slash 10 slash 22 at 401 p.m. Now I'm going to show you something that remember when I mentioned draft? Published. No comments. No tags. Link general. Link admin. Link view vertical. Link convert a quick vertical bar. Visited link edit left quote Chef Harry's journal begins right quote. Visited link left quote Chef select Chef Harry's journal begins checkbox not link date. Link comments. Okay. Tags. Categories. Now I'm up going up above the table. Author. Link title. Select all checkbox not checked. Table with seven columns and four rows. Heading level two posts list. Okay. And two items. Filter button. Combo box all categories. You see, I can filter this if I want to filter it by category. Filter by category. Combo box all dates. And I can do all dates. Filter by date. Apply button. Combo box bulk actions. Select bulk action. Search posts button. Blank. Edit. Search posts colon. Escape. See. List end. Link published left paren to right paren. See, and published, this is a publish button. If I want to filter it by publish, I'd click on this and only see the published items in that table. Vertical bar. Link current page all left paren to right paren. List of two items. Link current page all left vertical bar. Link published left per list end. Search posts colon list and link pub vertical bar. Link current page list of two items. Heading level two filter posts list. Uh, list of two I items. Thought it would, I thought it would show you draft, but there's a draft button that shows up when you got draft post. So, and if you got draft posts, it'll show up. So if you got somebody reviewing it, they just go here, they press that button, it says draft, and then they go in and they can inspect it and check it out. And they'll know exactly what, what their work needs to be done. And they'll take a look at it and then give their visual appearance and approval. And then you can go back behind them again and look at it, okay? And that's how you can verify it before things are seen by the general public. The draft posts are not visible. Okay, and you might have an edit of a post and saving it as a draft, and then you'll have to do it later on. Okay, all right, so now that I showed you that, now let's go ahead and we did categories. Let's go do some settings. All right, okay. Links list dialog, links list view, skip to main content, one of 77G, general, 41 of 77, I'm going options dash general. general dot php. Okay, enter. General, visit main menu navigation heading level one general settings. Main region, form region, 
Tagline edit. Just another WordPress site. In a few words, explain what this site is about. Okay. I got to get rid of this tagline. Okay. And I'm going to say... T A S T E. Taste. Space B U D uh, space E X X C X T A S Y space. Taste bud ecstasy. Misspelled ecstasy. Yeah, whatever it says, I misspelled it. I'm not worried. WordPress address left paren URL right paren edit. HTTP call. See, I got the URL. Site address left paren URL right paren edit. HTTP colon slash slash localhost slash chef long dot dev. Enter the address here if you want your site homepage to be different from your. Want your site yep. homepage to be different from your WordPress installation directory link. Administration email address at it. Lewiswood at gmail.com. This yeah, see, so you're just going to go through here through all the settings. Membership group. Any new user default role combo box. Site language combo box. Time zone combo box. UTC plus zero. Now my time zone is Chicago. Because I'm in, I'm in the Midwest Central time zone. C-H, Chicago. Yep, so I'll change that to Chicago. Date format group. Custom date format colon edit. F-J, time format group. Custom time format. Documentation on date and time formatting link. Week starts in combo box. Monday, save changes button. To activate, press enter. There we are, save changes. Enter. Okay, so the general, general settings, settings are now point. done. And now I'm going to show the updates because we need to do our updates. So let's go ahead and get those done. Links list dialog. Links list view. Documentation on date and time formatting. 56 of 50. U. Updates to 5 of 57. There we are. See, update I just hit the, I got the link list. I hit U for updates. Enter. I'm going to click on that. Page has six regions. Five headings. Now I happen to know the updates. It is a table. So I'll go here to a table. Wrapping to top. Table with two columns and four rows. Column one, row one. Checkbox not check select all. I'm going to go ahead and select all because, of course, I want to update all the plugins. Space. WordPress updates single left pointing angle quotation mark chef Harry's blog WordPress. Select all checkbox checked. To clear check mark. Checkbox check select suggestion anti dash spam. Row two. See, that one needs an update. Checkbox check select all dash and dash one WP migration. Row three. See, that one needs an update. Checkbox check select all. Row four. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and press the letter B for button because I know it's a button. Update plugins button. There we are. That's the button for update plugins. Now I'm going to click on that. Enter. Update plugins button. To activate, press enter. Update plugins. Update plugins button. To activate, press enter. And you got you to gotta give it Page a moment. One frame. Could, for you got to give it a moment because it has to refresh the screen. But here main we go. Main I hit the Q for main region. I can go down. Help button collapsed. Heading level one update plugins. The update process is starting. This process may take a while on some hosts, so please be patient. Yep. Heading level two updating plugin akismet anti dash spam left paren one slash akismet anti dash spam updated successful show details. But heading level two updating plugin all dash and dash one wp migration left paren two slash two right paren all dash and dash one wp migration up to show details. But all updates have been completed. See, there it is, all updates completed. So I finished that and I've got that done. All right, let's go take a look at uh, let's go look at the website and see how it how it's shaping up. WordPress visited link WordPress. There we go. Remember, I did a control tab and it's already here. So I'm just going to hit F5 to refresh it. F5. WordPress. Visited link WordPress. Page has six regions, five headings, and 19 links. Chef Harry's blog, taste, but ecstasy toolbar, navigation region, list of five items. Link is pop up menu. Okay. WordPress. Visited this pop up menu link. There we go. And now I'll go ahead and read the first blog entry. Wrapping to top. Main region. I just hit the Q for main region, which is a JAWS thing. All right. Now I hit H for the. This, I should be on the blog because I forgot my homepage, the blog. I didn't create a custom homepage. Chef Harry's journal begins heading level two link. Mm -hmm. Hello world, heading level two link. There you are. See, I got two of them. Now I'll go back up to Chef blog. Chef Harry's journal begins heading level two link. And you'll see this is just an excerpt of my blog entry, which I didn't type in that much. So it might actually be the whole thing. Now the journey to the ends of the earth begin. Follow along with me and you will enjoy recipes from everywhere. I will train and learn recipes. You are going along for the journey. Published October 22nd, 2021. See. Visited link edit Chef Harry's journal begins. Mm -hmm. I can edit it right here for that button. Categorized as link general. Article end. Link general. Categorized as link general. See, it's categorized as general. Now, you notice I had an edit link. That's because I'm logged in. Categorized as. Visited link edit Chef Harry's journal begins. Okay. Now, so you still can edit it, even though I didn't go in from the admin thing, because I'm still logged in. I logged in earlier. And then I then you can navigate to the page and you can still edit the blogs and do things like that. Okay. But uh, one of the things is if you want to do it to see how somebody else would see your website without uh, all this stuff, without the login things, you want to see exactly how the general public, the ones that don't log in, see it. This is how you do it. I want to do a control L. Control L. Toolbar. Address and search bar edit. Localhost slash chef long dot dev slash. 
Copy. Now I copy. Copy selection to clipboard. There we are. I've copied the web page. Okay, now I'm going to create an incognito uh, browser. This way, it will it has no information. It doesn't know my login. So here we go. You do Control Shift N. Control Shift N. New incognito tab dash Google Chrome left paren incognito right paren toolbar address there and search we go. bar. Edit. Now I just simply Control L. Go up there to the address bar. I'll just paste it. Paste it from clipboard. HTTP colon slash slash localhost slash chef long dot slash. Press tab and enter to remove suggestion. One yeah, of two. I didn't have to type all that stuff in. Enter. There we go. Chef Harry's blog taste but ecstasy dash Google Chrome left paren incognito right paren. Main region end. Page has five regions. Okay, now you remember earlier it gave me permission to edit it. Showed the edit link. Let's see if we got that edit link again. Wrap into top. Main region. Chef Harry's journal begins heading level two link. Okay, I'm at the blog entry. Now the journey to the ends of the earth begin. Follow along with me and you will enjoy recipes from everywhere. I will train and learn recipes. You are? Go in a lane for the journey. Published October 22nd, 2021, categorized as Link General. Article end. See, the edit link's not there anymore. Article. That shows you, that proves to you that it did not do it. Now you'll notice that this is just a blog post, so there is no menu. Wrapping to top. Main taste, but heading level one chef. Same page link, skipped content. Heading level okay. one chef, Harry's blog. So why don't we go create a... Uh, a menu. Chef Harry's blog, taste, but ecstasy dash Google Chrome, toolbar, right. update plugin, single left pointing angle. Now, the easiest way to get that going is we need to add a page. So let's add a home page. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to press insert F7. Links list dialog. Links list view. Go to plugins page 54 of 56. To move all to right. items, use the IP. Posts 6 of 56. P. Pages 14 of 56. There we Question go. mark. Post under all pages 15 of 56. Add new, 16 of 56, post dash new PH. I'm just going to select add new page right away. Enter. Main region, editor okay. content region, and title edit, contains text. I'm going to say. A, B, O, U, T, space, about M, E. Me. I'm not going to create a home page. I'm just going to do an about me. Let the blog come up there and then give me an about me page. Empty block semicolon start writing or type forward slash to choose a block group. Boy, that was a boring six minutes. So here I'll give you the synopsis. I'm putting this in the middle to, so you don't have to hear that and you can listen to the results. Article. Visited heading level two link Chef Harry's journal begins. Now the journey to the ends of the earth begin. Follow along with me and you will enjoy recipes from everywhere. I will train and learn recipes. You are? Go in a lane for the journey. Published October 22nd, 2021 categorized as link general. Article end. So that's the about me page. That's what I typed in. And now you didn't have to listen to it. And I put that in the middle. You'll notice that I won't be able to find the About Me page and I'll have to create a menu. Okay. That looks pretty good there. All right. Let's go ahead and turn off the... Use virtual PC cursor off. Alt Shift N. Editor top bar. Okay. View. Dot, save draft. Preview button menu. Publish button collapsed. Hey, all right. We're going to publish. Enter. Editor publish region. Publish button. Enter. About me link. Page published. Okay, so the page was published. All right, that finished that. Back. WordPress updates single left pointing angle quotation mark Chef Harry's blog WordPress. Now. Use virtual see. PC cursor on. Selected. Localhost slash Chef F5. Edit Chef Harry's journal begins visited link. Chef Harry's blog taste buttocks. Okay, I did a control tab and let's see what it looks like over here now. Main region. Taste buttocks dizzy. Heading level one Chef Harry's blog. Same page link skip to content. Link log out. Toolbar navigation list end. Visited his pop-up menu link search. Visit his pop-up list and toolbar navigation region end. Link right, log well, out. How are we going to get to the about page? Same page link skip to content. You see? We got to figure out how to get to that. All right, let's see. Link Chef Harry's journal begins. Link Hello World. Article. Wrapping to top. Link his pop-up menu about WordPress. See? I hit I for a link list. There Visit is his pop-up menu link. Link. All right. There is none there. Okay. Let's go. Use virtual PC cursor off. WordPress updates. Single let's left. go create a menu. Well, that concludes this tutorial lesson in the next lesson we will mess with the menu I will create a menu and I will show you how to navigate and get around the menu my little tricks that I do if you like this video don't forget to like me on YouTube and subscribe this helps other blind podcasters find these videos Till next time.